करेंट इज पासिंग थ्रू एनी रजिस्टर लेट से दिस वन इज रजिस्टर एंड दिस इज वोल्टेज वी दिस इज बैटरी वोल्टेज ऑफ दिस वन इज वॉट वी नाउ इफ करेंट इज पासिंग थ्रू दिस रजिस्टर सो वट विल हैपन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रजिस्टेंस लॉस ऑफ हीट विल बी देयर सो वेन एवर लॉस ऑफ हीट इज देयर इन दैट केस लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी विल बी देयर एंड दैट लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी विल कन्वर्ट इन टू हीट एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड हीटिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ ए इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट सो लॉस ऑफ हीट ड्यू टू रजिस्टेंस एंड दैट इफेक्ट इज कॉल्ड हीटिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ ए इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट Now we know power is equal to work done divided by time. Power is equal to work done divided by time. This is the basic formula. P is equal to W by T. So and work is equal to V into Q. We know V is equal to W divided by Q. From this same formula, I can write W is equal to V into Q. Right. Now power is equal to W by T. In place of this W, this W. In place of this W, I can write this one V into Q. So in place of this W. I am writing V into Q and time as it is. So, if you see this Q divided by T, this Q divided by T is called current. So this will become current, electric current. Now P is equal to V into I, and power is equal to energy divided by time. Power we can write energy divided by time, and heat is also kind of energy. So heat divided by time we can also say it's a power. So basically heat divided by time. Is equal to so power. We can also write h by t is equal to v into i, and this t will be multiplied over here. So h is equal to v into i into t, and this is the formula for heat. Heat generated in the electric circuit. Now, power. How to calculate power? Power is equal to v into i. Just we calculated p is equal to w divided by t. W is equal to I can write Q into V. P divided by we can write P is equal to V into I. Basically, P is equal to I can write uh, W divided by T. And we know W is equal to Q into V. So Q into V divided by T. And uh, Q divided by T I can write I. So this Q divided by T, this Q divided by T we can write I. So I can write P is equal to V into I. So in place of Q by T in place of this value in place of this Q by T I am writing I so P is equal to V into I so this is the formula for power and we can write V is equal to I into R this is nothing but Ohm's law ये तो Ohm's law है V is equal to I into R so in place of V if I write I into R so P is equal to I into R multiply by I so that will be I square into R so we got another formula for power that P is equal to how much I square into R. In the same formula, which formula? This one. In the same formula, this one. If I write uh, V is equal to I R, it means I can write I is equal to V divided by R. So in this formula itself, I am talking about this formula. In this formula, if you replace I in place of this I, if you are writing V by R, in place of this I, what you are writing? V by R. So if I write V by R, so what I'll get over here? So P is equal to V into V by R. So that will be V square by R. So this is another formula for power. So power is equal to I square into R. Find second formula. Power is equal to V square divided by R. We can also write this one. P is equal to V into I. Obviously in starting we wrote this one. So there are basically three formula for power. P is equal to V into I. Second P is equal to I square into R. And third one, P is equal to V square divided by R. So basically, all three are same formula. Just we derive from first one. So we remember these three formula. This is the first one, the second one, this one, third one. And we can derive this all formula using first one only. So basically, we can say there is only one formula for power. What is commercial unit of energy? Next thing is what? What is commercial unit of energy? We know commercial unit of energy is one kilowatt hours. Kilowatt hours. One kilowatt. How many watt? That will be thousand watt. And uh, hours, how in hours? How many second? That is thirty six hundred second. So if you calculate this much, so that will be three point six into ten is to six joule. So one kWh. This is commercial unit of energy. One kWh. One kilowatt hour is equal to three point six into ten is to six joule. Basically, this energy we use for measuring the electricity in electric meter. We use this much. So one kilowatt hours means one unit. This is also called one unit. 
this one unit is equal to how much 3.6 into 10 is to 6 joule okay so this is commercial unit of energy now next thing is that uh, we are uh, solving one question based on that if you read this question this question is telling an electric iron consume energy at 840 watt when heating is maximum rate 360 watt when it is minimum the voltage 220 what are the current passing through each case so uh, simple uh, formula we can use what formula we can use p is equal to v into i so you can see p is equal to how much that is 840 and v is equal to how much 220 so p is equal to v into i if i use this formula so in place of this one 840 and v is equal to how much 220 into i we can calculate i i from this one will be 840 divided by 220 it will be approximately 3.3.8 ampere so this will be the current second case what is power given second case if you see power is equal to given that is 360 and what is v second case that again 220 so again i can write p is equal to v into i is a lick to b p is equal to v into i we can write it and in place of p what i'll write 360 and in place of v uh, into i so i in i can write 360 and v kitna ga 220 and this one is what i so i will be equal to 360 divided by 220 and that will be answer 360 divided by 220 we'll see electric refrigerator written 4000 watts it's written 4000 watt operate 8 hour per day what is the cost of energy consumed after 30 day at rs 30 per unit so 8 hours per day we are operating so how many watt is there what is power given power given is 400 watt so if i want to convert into kilowatts so that is 400 divided by 1000 so if we calculate this one so this will be 0.4 kilowatt now how many hours they are operating in a day so they are operating uh, 8 hours so operating 8 hours how many days 30 days and what's a unit 3 so what's a rate for per unit per unit uh, rate is 3 rupees so in that case what we can write uh, total rate is equal to so that will be 0.4 into 8 into 30 into 3 so this will be our final answer see this many kilowatt energy will be there per day how much they are using 8 hours per, to, per day total time for use 8 hours and how many days they are using 30 days and what's the rate for one unit 3 so in that case this will be the answer so this will be 4 into 8 into 9 so this one will be 36 into 8 so this will be the total price and 36 into 8 will be equal to 88.